Hello, bienvenue sur Télé Magazine. Je retourne pour une autre vidéo. Je prends un petit temps pour me dire un grand merci à tout ancien et nouveau abonné. Même qui toujours partager, commenter, liker. Je dis un grand merci et ou même qui passe sur Télé Magazine qui peut vous abonner. Je invite ou s'il vous plaît abonner. Et pas oublier activer cette cloche là à chaque fois. Moi poster un nouveau zen pour capable recevoir notification moi yo attend. N'importe dans vidéo à sans perdre du temps. Ashley, tu sais blonde dit monte vinn parler. Comment blonde dit pas jamais voyer pour vinn attaquer maman ni dit m'a ba au corps pour vinn attaquer maman. Ashley fait connait que Maman, te vle rele police pou li. Li pat même vle pou l'entrer al pren rad li la kay li. Maman, te mande l pou l pren de ti moun yo pou l fè de mwa ansam avek ti moun yo. Men, apre li vin pale son internet la fè konen ke se li menm ki te pren ti moun yo nan mel telman bagay yo pat bon pou li. Non, se maman ki te prend ti moun yo nan mel li ti wa de vè sa nou tande sou internet la moun ap di sou rezo sosyo de li menm avèk se li blonde di se menti se pa verite nou met tande moun internet ap di yon koze depi se pa li menm ki pale ki vin bay verite a li menm li leve ak maman li blonde ti pa leve a maman li konen tout sa maman l ka fè ak tout sa maman l pa ka fè. Alor, gen yon seri de bagay ka pase nan fami an, pa koui di je blonde di kon sa. Pa koui di blonde di gen to. Moun ka pale de relasyon blonde di. Yo pa koni koman maman li e. Li menm, depi l ti moun yak maman, li kon tout koman maman li e. E nou konen tre bien, ti moun ki leve nan peyi Etazini, Yo pa menm jan ak lot ti moun ki leve Haiti. Sak verite a yap bay li, yo pa p kache pou gran moun. Kote yon ti moun ki leve Haiti ak paran, paran fè yon bagay li ka kache pou li. Men ti moun ki leve nan te a. Se pa fasil pou yo kache yon bagay maman yo fè yo, ou ben papa yo. Yap bay verite a jan li a, ki tou ti yel, ki tou pa ti yel, la pale. E bien nou kwal tande koman, Ashley Petit Kaol tap vide koze a te. I'm just, you know, it just make me feel like why? So, besides being disappointed and sad because all of these things are going on between family online, on the internet for people who don't know you to be, oh, this, oh, that, you don't even know us for real. You don't know us. You guys don't know my sister besides whatever you see on the internet. You guys don't know my mom besides whatever is on the internet. So I personally was hoping for some peace, but unfortunately that is not the case because people feel like because I'm talking to my sister, because I'm friends with my sister, that means like we're teaming up to beat up my mom, to fight my mom, to kill my mom. Why? Why? So because I'm close to my sister, I want to fight my mom. Because I'm close to my sister, I want to kill my mom. What, 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 somebody please explain to me. What, what, somebody please explain that to me. That's my sister. Even if there was no blonde light, even if there was no Blondie Ferdinand shop, even if she was not Blondie Ferdinand, she's still my sister. If my sister lost everything today, tomorrow, next, it doesn't make no sense. It does not make no sense. So me being friends or having a relationship with my sister should not be this big of a threat it should not be this big of a threat. There's no cameras, there's no contract, there's no directors, there's no producers. I didn't get a paycheck. I'm about to go to work. 
So my sister has to pay me for me to be her friend. My sister has to put me on a show for me to like her, for me to be her. Why? Not everything is about fighting. I said yesterday I'm going to go live today, which I am. So the decision was made to jump on the live to, I guess, put things out for people to hear in case... I'm going to say something about it first, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. But, you know, nobody, I don't think I've met any person in their right mind who wants to fight their parents. Who wants to fight their mom? Who wants to fight their mom on social media? You want to fight? You want to argue? You feel, you know... That's, that's, there's nothing that we can do about that. There's nothing that we can do about that. You feel threatened. There's nothing we can do about that. Me and my sister, to be honest, we were never able to have a relationship for real. And this going on right now, this is nonstop. It's always been nonstop. My sister doesn't have to tell me anything. My sister doesn't have to convince me to curse somebody out, fight somebody, blah, blah, blah. My mom raised me. She did not raise Blundy. She didn't raise Blundy. She raised me, but she didn't raise Blundy. I didn't meet Blundy until I was 12. So... With that being said, Blundy doesn't have to tell me anything about my mom, our mom. I think I know our mom more than Blundy knows our mom, honestly. So why would she need to call me and be like, oh, oh, I need you to come fight mom. I need you to come this mom. Oh, I'm going to give you so many to fight mom. For what? I don't need to fight mom. I don't need to fight my mom. The intention was not to fight my mom. I made a post saying, for somebody to bring you life and they become your op. Op, that's English slang, American slang, opponent, opposition, enemy, whatever you wanna call it. Because that's what's happening. That's the truth, is that a lie? That's not a lie. That's not a lie. Did what I say was a lie? Is that a lie? Did what I say was a lie? Did I make that up? Did I make it up? I didn't make it up. I didn't say that to... That's exactly what's going on. That's true. It's true. I didn't say, oh, my mom's a this, my mom's a that, da, 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 da. I didn't make all these posts saying, oh, my mom, she's evil, she's a devil, she's this, she that. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say anything. I said, I said that because it's true. It's true. If it wasn't true, you wouldn't have went live to say all these things. But for what? We're your kids. There's no money. There's no, even if my son become a bank robber, a serial killer, whatever, I'm still not going to go on live with all the with strangers to to talk about my son. That I, I don't I don't care. I don't care. There's no money that you can pay me to talk about my son. There's none. I have two of them. Two of them. Two kids. I have two kids and there's nobody that can pay me or do there's nothing they can do to me there's nothing they can say on, on whenever they're old enough to be on social media there's nothing they can say or do to make me do half of these things if anything I will come to them and say hey you're doing stuff I don't like them if I can't talk to them call whoever that knows them that have their phone number hey Kaden is doing something. He's talking about me online. I'm, that, that's, that's wrong. He's doing something to me. That's wrong. 
but I don't know none of so who am I to come on social media to fight even if Blundie came on social media saying ah oh, my mom's this my mom's that my mom's this my mom's that tell her she's wrong talk to her talk to her talk to her you brought us here talk to us you brought us here talk to us to us you cannot talk to blundy she has all you know so many people who know blundy talk to them but it doesn't have to be on social media i didn't even say anything my kids stayed with my mom for two months because she asked for them you asked for them you wanted them there you wanted to have them it's not because i needed help to get whatever this that or the that you asked for them you asked for them okay so so and then the whole two months the kids was there was a fight every day was a fight a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight, a fight. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know where to start with that one. Everything is a fight. I left Florida to come to Pittsburgh because I had nowhere to go. I had a baby. I had nowhere to go because I had to leave. You told me to leave. And even after I move to Pittsburgh, I still asked to come back and you would not let me come back. You did not want me to come back to your house. So from then up until now, I'm still in Pittsburgh. I couldn't, I came to Pittsburgh with nothing. I came to Pittsburgh with nothing but a three month old. I had to get on a Greyhound bus almost two days riding from West Palm Beach to Pittsburgh with nothing because I couldn't even get clothes in the house. I couldn't get clothes. I couldn't even get my clothes, shoes, nothing. I couldn't get anything because you would call the cops on me if I go inside your house. So that's why I left. That's why I don't live in Florida anymore. And even then, I still had respect for you. I still call you, I still talk to you. You still came to Pittsburgh see me. I still, because you're my mom. You're my mom, you only have one mom. I know that, I'm not dumb. I know that. There's so many things that happen, there's so many things that pass, and. I still shut my mouth because you're my mom. Telling people you pay my rent, you take care of the kids, you pay 200, gave me $200. Blundy didn't want me to graduate school. She tried to take me away. This, that, and the other, blah, zee, blah. The $200 thing with the eviction, that was what, seven years ago? The kids were babies. Caden is about to be 10. And he was like, what, three? Two, three? Blundy was still with Shashu. <laughs> so why bring that up? Mm -hmm. Why is that a big deal? Okay. And nobody's rent is $200. My rent wasn't $200, but you know. I asked for help. I mean, it is what it is.